Okay, everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon and The Blackest Heart, both books published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. Today I'm going to be showing you my Robert Kreas book collection. Now, I don't know if that's how you pronounce the guy's name. I've reviewed maybe... I don't know, one, two, three, four, five. I think I've reviewed five or six of his novels on my channel, and I always call him Crayas. I don't know if it, I mean, it's C-R-A-I-S. Is it Crace? Crayas? Crease? Craze? You take your pick. For me, it's Robert Crayas, and it has been for 25 years, ever since I started collecting these books. So let's get to it. Now, I have been collecting his Joe Pike and Elvis Cole mysteries since the be almost the beginning. And there are 18 of them, and they're all right here. Just about a month ago, because I'd never read any of his standalones, but about a month ago, two months ago, three months ago, I bought his four standalone novels. So let's start with the standalones. Um, none of which I have read, but I will read soon and review on the channel. So... There's Suspect, which is about a dog. I think it's a police dog that it's about. I don't know anything about it, but I will read that one day and review it. There's also the Two Minute Rule, which I know nothing about. But I will be reading that one soon and reviewing it. Demolition Angel. Again, don't know about it. If you've read any of these... Go ahead and drop me a line and let me know what you thought. And then we have um, Hostage. So those are his four standalones that I have yet to read. That I just bought not that long ago. So now let's talk about his... Uh, by the way, one of my favorite mystery series of all time are these Elvis Cole, Joe Pike books. Starting with the monkey's raincoat. Now, here's one of the things is, for whatever reason, the publisher published all of his books in this size, except for book one, which came in this little size. Um, and then you can see it, um, it's just smaller and it's not, this is not a book club edition or anything. It's just a smaller one. It's the only it's the only thing that I don't like about my collection is the one tiny book, which is book one. Actually, there's a couple things. The Monkey's Raincoat is small. Now, it is um, signed. Book number two, I also am a little... It's a little weird because it's got this wildly different cover. And I have searched because these first seven books of his, these first six, yeah, these first seven books all have the same sort of um, design to them, except for book two, book two which has this weird tattoo guy on it stalking angel but that's book two so book one and two are sort of like the bastard children of the entire series just aesthetically as they sit on the shelf they're fantastic books go ahead and watch my reviews but then we've got um the next books and i think i might have messed up the orders of these Free Fall, Voodoo River. I know there's a few. Uh, this one, yeah, this is the other one that's signed, Voodoo River. But I love these covers. Lullaby Town. Sunset Express. And Indigo Slam. Now, all of these sort of go together as more of Elvis Cole books. And as you can see... <laughs> The publisher has got these weird shapes and sizes to them all. It's not just the first two. I'm noticing 
they all have a little bit different, like tiny cover that doesn't match a little bigger. Now this one's really big. This one's smaller again, really big, really big. I mean, it makes no sense. Makes no sense, but we'll deal with it. LA Requiem. Now the covers, they jump from this more colorful style to a little bit more darker style, which is fine. I don't mind these. These have got some great covers to them. The Last Detective. The Forgotten Man. The Watchmen. So then we get these four books that have more of a dark look to them. And then we get to um, some more colorful ones with um, Chasing Darkness. These all sort of have a similar theme to their spines, which I like. All of these spines look good together. The first rule. The sentry. Taken. The promise. Oh, that says signed copy. Let's see. Yes. I have to see if that signature matches the um, matches the other ones. <laughs> Let's see here. Yeah, I think I think they're close enough. I think they're close enough. I think they're close enough that they're all legit signatures. The Wanted and Dangerous Man. Elvis Cole and Joe Pike. So the Elvis Cole and Joe Pike series is right here. I think I counted 18 books total. Absolutely wonderful. I've reviewed on the channel at least the first five or six of them. And then we've got these standalone books right there. That is my entire Robert Kreas collection. I love these, the Elvis, just, uh, these are just so well written. So well written, I can't get over it. That's why I wanted to show you the whole collection. 